Home Depot is a multinational corporation in the US that specializes in home improvement retail. It offers a wide range of products and services, including tools, construction materials, appliances, fuel, and transportation rentals. As the largest home improvement retailer in the US, Home Depot has over 490,000 employees. Now, the company is warned already of a fiscal year profit decline, and earnings will provide information on how resilient the US consumer is. Investors will be closely looking at any of Home Depot's future revisions for growth. How do Home Depot forecast their ability to find their way through potential falling US consumer confidence? Technically, the company is sat in this area of weekly support around the 200 exponential moving average, and there is indications that US consumer confidence is starting to fall. The drop in US Michigan consumer data on Friday last week is a hint that US consumer confidence is starting to wane, as you can see here. Now, seasonally, Home Depot tends to see a weaker summer period. May and June have seasonally been quite weak over the last 15 years, with average falls of around sort of 3%. However, July and August tends to be a stronger period with sort of gains and a pretty healthy average return of 7%. So even within the weaker summer period over the last 15 years, there definitely is a, ses a, a sense of two halves of that period of weakness. And going into the end of the year, you can see that towards the end of the year, the gains are pretty significant. So Will any dips lower provide decent entry opportunities for a typically strong year end? Major trade risk. All outlooks have risk and this is no exception. The major trade risk here is that the US enters into a hard recession and demand for US home improvements rapidly falls away. Remember, don't just trade it, but season exit.